Special edition and limited edition watches are everywhere these days. Every week there's another handful of releases with a slightly different colorway or a slightly different bezel or some different text or maybe even just a different colored chronograph hand with the watch assembled at midnight. There's a micro brand that I think always nails special editions and limited editions. And it's one that I mentioned in my end of year awards ceremony for this reason, but that video died a death, maybe thanks to YouTube's algorithm, or maybe because I am just that boring. Something that isn't boring is the watch from that brand today. And that is this right here from Venezianico. Italian brand, but they've done a number of special editions for Middle Eastern countries and this one is the latest one and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one so I thought it would be fun to unbox it together, take a look at the watch, put some footage in of the dial which is the reason I bought this watch and obviously run through some basic information on the watch but there is a reason that it's not a full review today and that is because I've already reviewed this exact watch but in one of the regular colorways. So I'll link to that in the description. With all that said and done, let's have a look at the watch that I think is going to be special editions done right. Right, let's see what this one has to offer then. So this was a limited edition of 250 pieces. Each one is numbered. And like I said, this is all about the United Arab Emirates. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but this is YouTube, so Let's keep this firmly on the watches and geopolitics, perhaps not in the comments. Every country has lovely people and not so lovely people, and you can't help where you're born. So yeah, all about United Arab Emirates today, and the dial, as I mentioned, is the reason I bought this one, and I hope it doesn't disappoint. Included in, a, in the box, you'll see there's a nice Venezianico uh, brochure, which talks about the brand and some of the watch lines that they offer now. This brand has matured so much since they were Mechaniche Veneziani and they launched their Kickstarter campaign. I don't know how many years ago it was, but yeah, it's great to see they have consistency in the design and they nail the QC now every time, which is the sign of a mature brand. Anyway, back into the box, we'll take this uh, plastic off and remove the sleeve and get a look at this dial. This dial is handcrafted. It's fragments of mother of pearl put together in a mosaic pattern. So what you have is something that takes probably quite a long time to actually assemble. There's only 250 of them. And, and I imagine there would have been prototypes as well. So the costing with this one obviously was inflated. It was 569 euros. Um, as you'll see there, number 48 out of 250 on the certificate. So it is a significant sum of money for something with an NH34, but I've learned, and I know some of you who love specs and only care about specs will disagree, but I would rather have a watch with a stunning dial like this. And, oh, hang on, here we go. Let's pull it out. I'll come back to that point in a second. Just slide this off and get our first look at this mosaic dial already. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this color combination. I love the look of this watch. It's so unique, it's so interesting, and it does invoke the United Arab Emirates. I see that, I feel that in the colors, in the kind of desert sand, and the beautiful pattern that you get from this dial. Bezel as well, matching really nicely, and of course, Arabic numerals on this bezel. It is only a unidirectional bezel, not a bi-directional bezel. It's always one of my critiques of the original watch. Um, like I said, you can check the review out for that. But yeah, wow, take a look at that. That dial really is something. And going back to my point on the cost and on the specs, I think the thing is, for me, I would rather have a dial like this and an NH34 than a plain black dial and a Sleater SW200. You can put the money into a watch however you want to. You could make a watch $1,000 by putting a, you know, $900 into the case, the dial and the bezel, and $100 into the movement, or you could do it the other way around. And so really as a collector, I guess you have to know what's important to you, but I know for sure that it isn't specs that make me smile when I look down on my wrist. It's things like the design, it's things like a unique dial. It's something that really stirs my emotions, and that's exactly what this watch is doing. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm yeah really over the moon with this and like I said this is for me special editions done right it's so easy for special editions to be so lazy so sloppy and to not really make the effort and I think a good special edition or limited edition I don't know take your pick depends on the brand should be something that really is special and really deserves to be 
limited. As like I said, it's nice they're individually numbered as well. I always find it a bit of a cop out when brands put one of and then just basically make X number of identical case packs. Um, this one again, I mean, if you didn't know the specs, I'll run through very quickly. So 39 millimeters, lug to lug is pretty compact, 45.5 millimeters, sapphire, BGW9, uh, and 200 meters of water resistance. And all of that uh, means it wears very nicely, although one thing that does annoy me is they don't put half links on the bracelets here. You have to buy them separately, which I think is a bit cheeky. But yeah, going back to the dial, look at that light play. That really is just absolutely stunning. And uh, I'm so happy that the watch looks in real life as it did in the pictures and the video on the Venetian Echo email that they sent around and also on my WhatsApp conversations with them just before this watch was launched. One of the good things, if you do like this kind of watch and you find it really interesting, you know, check out Venezianico and sign up to them. They, they do a lot of special editions and a lot of limited releases and they always tend to be excellent, which is the point I made in the introduction. And this one is sold out, of course, but there will be plenty more coming of that, I have no doubt. And here's my original Neuride GMT on the left, uh, without a bracelet actually at the moment. Uh, I'm ordering one for my fiance. She's gonna be wearing that, um, but the male end links on the original Canova bracelet don't quite work for her. So we're getting something a little bit shorter. Um, to fit that for her but yeah it's held up very well and it still looks very nice but it isn't as special for me as this United Arab Emirates edition really nice case back on this one beautiful engraving and lots of typical sights from the United Arab Emirates along with the usual spec list around the outside yeah really nice detail again it's attention to detail and the amount of effort you put in that makes a special edition special and gives it justification for being limited, not changing the color on a chronograph hand like in a moon swatch. On the wrist, I knew this one would wear really nicely because obviously I have the exact same watch in the different colorway. So I just took out an identical number of links on the bracelet, popped it on, and here you can see it outside. So apologies for the snowfall on my wrist and onto the watch. Not a lot I can do. We had a little taste of sunshine here in Alberta. And now we are back to four days of continuous snow and minus temperatures. But even so, outside you can see how nice the light play is and how each one of those fragments in the mosaic of the mother of pearl gives a different reflection at a different time. So hopefully this video has been fun to watch just to see something different, something unique, something that you won't see every day out and about on people's wrists. So please let me know in the comments, what do you think about this watch? What do you think about the brand, Venezianico? And is there any other companies that you can tell me nail special editions in the same way? I think Nodus is probably another one that springs to mind, although I haven't had one in hand. I do really like some of their special editions as well, and they seem to make a similar amount of effort. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.